lot of times the best ideas come whenever you're just flowing. Um, usually you don't just think of an idea. Usually yeah. it just comes. Just stop thinking and just start doing. Um, you're just going to come up with creative ideas and thoughts naturally. I started um, in high school making YouTube videos with a couple of friends of mine, but I had like this drive for creating more artistic stuff and wanting to really showcase a uh, broader talent and dive a little bit deeper into the videography and photography realms. At GoDaddy, I photograph primarily for um, a number of our everyday entrepreneur programs where we photograph small business owners. I've traveled pretty extensively to be able to do that. It's been a real kind of joy to go out and experience that, capture that. The first thing that I brought out were chopsticks. I got a horse hair brush, so. Next thing that I got is scrubbers. These like, like part of my job now is to clean my apartment. Screws, many black screws. Apparently you're in the home home repair department over there. Again, cleaning supplies. Ooh, this is actually good. I'm strictly social distancing over here. It's probably gonna be lean more towards um, still life stuff. Sometimes less is more. When you have so much to work with, it kind of clutters your mind. Yeah, my mind is pretty cluttered, which is, it's really nice that I got some things to clean, clean that out now. And what are we gonna do with this stuff? <laughs> well, what do we do now? <laughs> so this is a few of the first yeah. takes. You can kind of see how it's just kind of all clumped together. And I didn't really like that at all. And by the time I had to start shooting on a higher aperture because a lot of the times the screwdriver was in focus but all the screws, nuts and bolts were not. So anyway, I started getting the screws and focus and um, the screwdriver at the same time. And I just liked the way it looked. Oh, that was sweet. Look Take two. Look through it. Oh my. So I ended up getting this picture which was my favorite, where you can see the screwdriver really well. The screws are really spread out and it almost looks a bit like hazy and cinematic, which I really liked as well. Okay, so we just finished up. I think it took us five or six takes before we got the perfect shot. But anyway, that is how you get some creative photos with a box of screws. I have these um, gelatin filters, and then I got a flashlight, and I bounced light off of all the gelatin filters. And since the gelatin filters have like this wavy pattern to them, it like totally made like a wavy pattern on the wall. Then I grabbed a piece of glass out of a picture frame, and uh, stuck the sponge to that because I wanted to get it to look like it was floating in space so it didn't have any shadows around it. And then I got, I got even wilder. So I was like, I'm gonna make a little sculpture. Used that glass as the surface so that light could come up through the bottom of it. And then I started to use a gel filter on the actual flashlight to color the front of the sponges. Yeah. All right, back over to you, my friend. I have this idea. I had no idea if it was gonna work at first. So my ideal for this was to have the colors coming out of the Rubik's Cube. I put in all these lines of tape. I was trying to keep it as parallel as possible and make it look as clean as I could. And I put the Rubik's Cube into it so it was like bleeding out, you know? I had to make a couple of color adjustments to the yellow because the yellows were a bit off. As you can see, it was a little bit darker. Um, yeah. But I changed the hues just slightly and it was able to pull off pretty nicely. You had to solve that Rubik's Cube Chopsticks were fun. <laughs> I was like, I don't have any noodles. I'm gonna use the internet for this um, particular shot. And so I found a, a, an image that I really thought was cool and was minimal. I like the, the fact that it has the menu, the, the Photoshop menu across it right here. And then I just turned myself into a hand model. And also I, I did a, a kind of a removed version of it where I flipped the computer up and shot down on it to get something like that. Because I thought, well, if I'm really selling a product, this is the product that I'm selling. Yeah. I like how we both went for like completely different things. Pretty much all your photos were some kind of weird light source, like a flashlight or a lamp or something. And Creativity is actually really good when you have some boundaries there. Like when you have to kind of figure out, like you have 
this and this and this, and how are you gonna kind of make it all come together? If you can just pinpoint a few objects or items or locations or anything, kind of like this whole thing that we're doing now, only having a limited amount of items gives you more creativity in a way. 